Hey everybody, in this topic I'm going to explain auto commit, commit, and rollback. Auto commit is a mode. By default, auto commit is set to on. Whenever you execute a transaction within MySQL, that transaction is saved. What if we were to make a transaction and we need to undo that transaction? For example, what if we accidentally delete all of the rows of this table? Don't do what I do, but I'll give you a demonstration. I accidentally type in delete from employees, but I forget to add a where clause. Well, all my rows are now gone. How do I undo these changes? Well, what we're going to do is set auto commit to equal off. With this setting set to off, our transactions will not save automatically. We would need to manually save each transaction. It creates a save point, so to say. I'm going to create a save point by typing commit, then execute. Now I'm going to select my table, select all from the name of my table. Then I'm going to go ahead and delete all the rows. Delete from employees. Oh shoot, but I forgot to add a where clause. My whole table is gone now. Luckily, we created a save point with that commit statement. To undo these changes, I can execute the rollback statement. This will restore my current transaction back to the previous save point where we used commit. Now, if I were to select all from the name of my table, our table is back to what it previously was. And again, to save any changes, Let's say I delete my whole table again, delete from employees. If I want to save this change, I would commit. Then again, I will select my table. And that last change is now saved. My whole table is gone. So yeah, that is auto commit, commit and roll back. By default, auto commit is set to be on. Any transactions after executing are saved. If that mode is set to off, you can commit any changes manually. To undo any changes, use that rollback statement. So yeah, that is auto commit, commit, and rollback in MySQL.